Northwest News coverage. Cairo 7 Eyewitness News starts right now. There's going to be a lot of uh, bad blood, if you will, um, for a while, I think. Tonight on 11 at 11, teachers may have said yes to a new contract, but there are others who are still saying no tonight. 26,000 students in Kent are going back to school tomorrow, two weeks late. It comes after an exhaustive standoff between teachers and the school district. Teachers approved a new contract by an overwhelming majority, 94%. It gives teachers a raise of up to 2.75% the first year, 1.6% the second. And the major sticking point was class size. There have been some reductions, but not for all schools. Cairo 7's Monique Minglavin is live at Kentwood High School, where that's still a big issue. Monique? Well, Steve, still a big issue because there are no class size limits here or in any other 7th through 12th grade classrooms. Now, there were teachers here tonight getting ready for the start of the school year tomorrow, but some of them told us, and so did some parents, that even though this contract was approved, the fight is not yet settled. This evening, Leon Hernandez watched his son, number 75, play for Kentwood High, knowing this may be the last time he wears that uniform. I mean, I've applied for some private schools, and if it's if it's worth and if it's better for my son, I'm going to try to get him into a private school. He's trying to move his son because he may be in classes as large as sophomore Marian Thomas's from last year. I think there was about 40 people in each class. With a new contract approved this morning, the cap on class sizes got lower.